Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. Today I've got something special. I believe I'm the first person to have this. This is the new 5 by 11 shaving, which is five years of business. Uh, congratulations, Paolo. Great job. Um, hopefully you get a lot more um, a lot more love on social media in the future and uh, I hope everything explodes for you in a good way in a good way um, so I've got the whole set Paolo was nice enough to send this to me um, for review and this is the aftershave which I can tell you I've already tried um, it's excellent um, and I've got the matching balm as well I'm going out tonight with my wife for believe the second time since Reed was born um, so uh, six years um, as of tomorrow tomorrow's his sixth birthday so happy birthday to him early um, so we're going out tonight um, nothing special just going out for some for some wings and a beer or so you know and uh, we'll see what happens uh, brush today Razor Rock Big Bruce as you guys know I love this no upkeep, very nice. Um, razor is gonna be the Edwin Jagger D89. This is the LBL, which is the lined barrel. Really nice razor. It's only my, it might only be my second, it's either my second or third time to use. Um, and then the scent of the day, I didn't mention, um, the scent of five is based on Aqua Di Gio, or inspired by Aqua Di Gio, which is, I, I, I want to call it a classic. I think it's been around long enough. There's been enough sales of it. There's been enough flankers of it. I'm calling it a classic. So we're going a classic scent to go with the classic scent of this soap. And I can tell you that the aftershave, once it dries down a little bit, smells, to my nose, it smells extremely extremely close I don't want to say exact um, super super close try it out you see tell me what you think also while I'm here I'm gonna show you guys a new acquisition of mine um, before it heads off to Frank at Strike Gold Shave for honing I got this little baby Let's see this is a Kobar from Zollingen, Germany. So a German blade. Really, really neat. Um, doesn't look like it's been used an awful lot. Um, I'm gonna polish it up before I send it over to Frank, uh, but I can't wait to try this out. Um, I managed to score this on eBay, um, and it looks in you know great condition. So I'm really excited to use that, and obviously, um, once I get it back, you guys will will get to see that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. As always, well, as almost always, I've got the puck soaking and I'm just gonna get some of that water on my face just a moment. Just soaking it to make it easy as possible to load. It's not a super hard soap. Um, so, you know, you really don't have to if you don't want to. I just do, and then I like getting that um, kind of slick water on my face just to get started. I can tell you it's smoking hot here today, and it's smoking hot in here right now. So we'll see how, uh, we'll see how that goes. If it gets too hot, I'm going to have to turn on a fan. And let me see if I can get this lighting a little bit better. All right, I hope that's a little better. I feel like there's some, yeah, some, some, you know, some in the, okay, let's go. A little water in the brush. Get most of it out and we'll get going here. Hi, Jackson. I think Jackson wants to say hello to you guys. Would you guys like to see Jackson? Or excuse me, the f um, Iron Man, or I don't know, something. Come here, Jackson. You want to say hello? Mm -hmm. Say hello to everyone. Say hello, right there. Say hi. Hello. 
<laughs> That's my buddy. Go ahead, Dad. He's gonna shake. All right. I think I've got enough in there. I think you guys that that watched my last video know how much soap you can get out of this. So I'm gonna stop right there. And let's go. I've got um, two days growth. So not a whole lot. Okay, go out on the deck. Yeah, go tell mama. Tell mama she better be getting dolled up for daddy. Mmm. <laughs> Beautiful aquatic scent. Sorry, I meant to write down the scent notes. Um, I know there's jasmine, um, I believe juniper berry. Um, I don't know. I don't want to butcher the scent, <clears throat> the scent notes. Um, anyway, look at it. Look at Aqua de Jou, and you'll find it. Look, there's some sandalwood in there. I feel like there's rosemary in there. Mm, a lot of good stuff. Look at that. That's so pillowy. I'm going to put a little more water in. All right, fine, I'm gonna put a little more water in. And a little more water in. No, I'm not going as crazy as the one a couple of days ago. That was a lather monster. It really, you just, you keep putting water to it and it just, you know, the volume just continues to grow. Really is a great soap. And I've said it many times already. I don't know why I don't see this soap, these or these products in general, um, on social media as much as I do some others. This is very worthy to be on there. And so, I'm glad to put it on there for you. If you haven't tried them, please do. Please, please do. Okay, I'll warm up my blade a little bit and we're gonna get going. Line up the sideburn. I shaved so close with that R41 the other day that I still don't have a huge amount of facial hair, a huge amount of growth, but I want to be nice and smooth for the wifey in case she comes in for a smoochie. I was kidding. We're married. We don't do that anymore. We just complain to each other about who's going to do the laundry and who's going to do the dishes. And... Who's going to clean the cat box this time? On September the 1st, just a few days ago, we did celebrate our 13th anniversary. I call it celebrating. We didn't do anything. We're still just not, I don't know, not super comfortable going out. I know we should just get over it, but no, it's not. I'm not worried about what happens to me. 
I, you know, don't want to bring anything back to my children. But we're not going to. Everything's going to be great. We're going to have a couple of pints, have some wings, maybe some fish and chips, and have a great night, right? Okay, I'm holding you to it. All right, nice first pass. The scent here on the soap is definitely a clean aquatic. Um, I don't know if it smells as much like Aqua de Joe as the um, as the aftershave does, but. You know, this is just first impression. I did try out the aftershave just a little bit, just to get an impression of what it was. Um, and at first I was like, yeah, you know, it's it's definitely an aquatic. Um, I don't know if I'd call it aqua de joe, uh, but a really nice aquatic. And then as it sat on my face, maybe, I don't know, Five minutes later or something like that I was like that's aqua de joe right there once that scent settles in and you get the um, you know the the alcohol burns off it's I mean it's right on it is a dead ringer in my opinion I probably don't have the most um, sophisticated nose in the world but I do love my fragrances and uh, you know I've gotten to where I can you know smell something and pull some scent notes out of it so and uh, I think it does a great job don't take my word for it buy it With all the COVID stuff going out there, going on out there, if um, if you're out of work and you can't afford to try this, um, please message me. Paolo was nice enough to send this to me for review. And I would be more than glad to help someone out that's in need, give them something new to try. You know, I think all of us weight shavers, we probably don't really need any more soaps. Um, but, you know, it, it's nice to try something new. And I would be more than happy to help any of you out. Obviously, you know, anonymously, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell anyone that I sent it to you. But no, honestly, if you if you need some, if you want to try some, and you're not you're not able to afford it right now, please please message me. There have been some people that have been extremely nice to me in the wet shaving community, and I am absolutely happy to pay it forward. has been a wonderful community for me for the years that that I've been wet shaving all right if you haven't seen any of the reviews of 11 shaving soaps please look into my earlier videos um, including as early as two days ago um, and you can see you know more of the more of my impression on the soap base I would tell you that the soap base is very protective um, it's got really good residual slickness um, 
post shave doesn't really matter for me for a soap because I'm using other things. So I don't I don't really use soaps without you know a splash and you know sometimes not always balm but you know I've always got a splash in there so you really can't you can't really tell exactly what the post shave is um, because I'm covering up with something else um, so for a post shave look for somebody else's review <laughs> very slick and very very good and the scent is great if you like aqua de joe you're gonna like this I assure you Cartier is very, very good. It's very, very good. All right, against the grain. Oh, I forgot this uh, Voshkod blade in here, first use. Just going for a milder shave tonight. And I say mild, but I will still be BBS by the time I'm done. Very, very nice. It's gonna be a couple of spots to go over left. Left to go over. But there's not much there. Beautiful stuff. That's awesome. Very, very nice. Great shape. Still very slick. I'm gonna kibosh that real quick with this alum block. Residual slickness is gone.
All right, clean my brush out in just a moment. Really nice job, Paolo. You done good. Nice soap, nice label. Nice aftershave from what I've done so far, but haven't put it over a freshly shaven face, so we'll see. All right, I got the alum off. shave give it a little shimmy shake and whoa I got enough for you guys too here mm. a little alcoholy scent from the beginning but it burns off quick Touch more on my neck since a good portion of that went up my arm. Ah, beautiful. All right. And now we'll get the bomb on. dry that off a little bit and with this I usually do two pumps so whoa that went everywhere mm. same beautiful scent find this balm to be very nourishing really nice and finish it up with the classic aqua di jewel you can tell you I haven't worn this in a good while mmm such a familiar scent you know ten 15 years ago, you could smell on everybody. Um, and still, I still smell lots of people, you know, or I'm around people, a lot of people that wear it. I don't go up to them and go. <laughs> but you can smell it. When it's a familiar scent, you know when you're around it. Thank you guys for joining me again. Uh, thank you, Paolo, for giving me this um, stuff to review. Um, remember, if anyone is in need, please let me know. Um, I hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you again for being with me, and I'll catch you on the next one.